So it's been written. Woo! Woo! Time is now. Gates them! Gates them! This is, this is, this is, this is, this is. Wait for what the fuck is this? Welcome, 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 welcome to my den. Yes, I am going to talk about people today. I told you, nobody controlled my station. So, let's get right on into it. I am going to talk about living above your means. And I'm going to talk about the celebrities. Today, I just want to go straight to my people. Now, this is tax season. We all know what goes on on tax season. It is temporary tax day. Temporary tax month all the way to April. People, stop buying cars that you know doggone well. Not even buying cars, renting cars. That you know you can't afford. You only can afford it is when tax season come. Stop it, my people. Stop that. Save your money or buy your car cash. Don't go there and start renting cars or you go there and buy a car and know you cannot afford the payment because you don't have a job. And if you do have a job, you're not making that much of money. That makes no sense at all. Really, it do not make any sense at all. Somebody, please help me help you help me. Because I cannot understand that. I know when tax season comes, everybody want to go out there, splurge, want to go and get their new Jordans. That's why I say celebrities today. Um, new Jordans, they want to get their new outfit, they want to look good, go and rent them a new car, looking good, go and buy them a new car, looking good. I oh, Come on now, stop. Stop it. Because it makes no sense at all that you are spending that money knowing you're not going to continue the payment at all. Oh, you can't afford it. Stop living above your means. Not only that, you don't get no regular car or nothing like that. People don't get that on tax season. They're going to get them a Jag, a Mercedes Benz, you know, BMW. And three months later, it is repossessed. And you think them, got, you think them people who selling you those cars really care? They got the down payment. They got the down payment. They come and pick it up, repossess it, and they can sell it again. Either this year or they'll sell it the following next year to another silly fool that's going to come up in there with the tax. With their taxes. People, stop it. You just need to stop it. Stop living above your means. That's just like, even I, and I'm all for people better than themselves. Don't get me wrong, especially my people. I'm all for that. I want you to better, my, better yourself. But think wisely. Don't sit up there and do stuff that is so unnecessary. It's not wise at all. Stop wasting your money. If you're going to waste money, if you, I tell you what, get your money and go, go to school. Buy your book. But if you need a car, go and buy it cash. People out here selling cars like crazy when it comes down to taxi. They are selling the cars, people, regular people, not car lots, are selling their used cars. Buy used cars. Do not sit up here and rent these cars. I know a, a young man on, uh, even not only in tax season. Let me get back to this. I'm in school, so when they get their money from um, financial aid, they go and buy a car, a rent a car. I know a young man went and rent a car, but didn't have enough money to pay for his rent, and was go- and the money was gone after he rent this Cadillac SUV. You know how expensive that is, and then had the audacity to try to call me to pick him up. No, 
you made your bad heart and you know I love love my people and I'll help my people. But I'm not going to, I am not going to help you spend that money unwisely. I'm not going to do it. So you made your bad heart. You lay in it. Simple as that. Stop living above your means. If you can afford an apartment, buy, get an apartment. If you can afford a house, look at your budget. If the house costs, uh, I say, about $600 every month, and you're getting paid, um, I say, $100 or $200 every two weeks because you're on a part-time job, why would you go and buy your house? Wait for an answer. <laughs> Why would you go and buy your house? Why would you even rent an apartment? I know you have to have a place to stay, so rent a room. Rooms are cheaper than apartments and a house. I'm trying to get you to open up, broaden your horizon, open your mind, be reasonable, and think wise, wisely about how to spend your money. Do you really need those Jordans? Do you need that Gucci bag? Louis Vuitton? Do you need those? Because at the end of the day, you can't go to the bill collector and say, hey, I sit up here and bought me some, uh, you know, I bought me a Louis Vuitton and it looked good on me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, I'm not gonna pay the light bill, even the light, even though the light bill is about two hundred dollars. I'm not gonna do that. Come on now, come on, stop that crap. Do what you need to do. Stop living above your means. That's all I'm saying. Come on, I need a feck here. I need somebody to give me a, a bill. Oh yeah, mhm, mm mhm. Mm I'm trying to take you to school financially. I'm trying to take you to school. Yes, I'm trying to. Don't live above your mean people. That makes no sense. Tax season's here. If you can't find a car, two thousand or uh, twenty-five hundred, uh, and then put it in the bank. Open a savings account. Open a savings account or a checking account. Don't sit up there and leave your money around the house so somebody either can steal it and it could be your friends, the friends who you never thought that they would steal from you. Or you may lose it or you may just spend it on unnecessary stuff that you do not need. So just think wisely on that. You know, stop spending your money and then you, if you say that $2,000 or you say that $2,500, put it in the savings, let it draw interest. The following year, you have another income tax. You will have another two thousand. That's four grand right there. Then go and buy your car. Always save, save my friends, save my people. Always save. That that is what I want you to realize. You need to save. Keep money in the bank because you never know when you're gonna have a hard time. You never know you're gonna lose your job. You never know what will happen. You never know when you might need to. You might injure yourself and you need and you don't have insurance that nobody shouldn't have, shouldn't be out here right now without insurance. You should always have insurance. Obamacare is live and kicking. But I'm just saying. Now, how do I express this? Or what? Jada Pinkett! Where are you? Scooby Dooby Doo. Where are you? I like that. <laughs> Where are you, Jada? Jada? Where are you, Will Smith? The problem that I have with those two people and other people, Jordan. Where are you, Jordan? Okay, now let's get back. These people make millions and millions of dollars. They only want our support if it's benefiting them. Can I get a can I get an amen? Amen. Can I get an amen again? Amen. They only want 
our support when they want, when they need something. Jada Pinkett sat up there and talk about Oscar. That I, I, I really agree with her on that. But, but it's a but in that. That I do not support the Oscars because you have to be a mammy, you have to be a whore, or you have to be all this to be on, to get, not be on, to get a Oscar if you're African American. Or you have to be a thug, or you have to be a pimp. No, 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 no. I'm going to have to talk about the pimp thing too next, tomorrow. So... This is, now Now you don't see her nowhere because it's not, some, she don't need us. She don't need us at all. That's why I said, when these celebrities sit up here and say, well, we need to boycott this, or we need to boycott that, please shut up. Because you are not even thinking about the African American community. Even if we reach out to you, you will turn your nose away from us until you need our support again. Jada. So sit your little behind down. You and Will, y'all have millions and millions of dollars, including your kids have millions and millions of dollars. Sit your ass down. I'm just saying. You do not care about the regular people unless it's benefiting you or your family. Do, uh, when the last time I saw you speak out at the NWACP? When the last time I saw you speaking out at Black Lives Matter? When the last time I ever seen you speak out on anything besides the Oscar? Because guess what? Normal people that you used to be Go through more hell than you and your family go through because Will didn't get nominated for an Oscar. We're getting pulled over every day by cops that are killing us every day. Are killing our kings and queens. And you worrying about an Oscar? Are you serious? Ooh, let me calm down here. Let me calm on down. Because that is ridiculous. You want us to boycott the Oscars because your husband didn't get nominated. Who cares about them Oscars? Who cares about trying to fit in? I tell people on here all the time. You, I don't have to fit in you. I don't have to fit in any of your environment. But I do and I will get your respect. Regardless, because I am an African queen. And you will respect me and my brothers and sisters. I don't care about you caring about me. I went through centuries and centuries of time. I, my ancestors, everybody have gone through time after time after time. Of racism in this world have been called the N-word, have been looked upon like we are animals or nothing because of the color of our skin, not by the content. What we have known or the knowledge that we know. So I care nothing about getting accepted. Are your husband getting nominated for the Oscar? You are nowhere to be found now. But you can go and make a video because your husband didn't get nominated. Who cares? Get out of here. Get, Get your life. Now, my people... You know I was going to get on the Jordan deal too. I said celebrities. You out here buying these shoes for Jordan. Whew. Buying these shoes from Jordan. For yourself. You can't even afford it. 
You buy you rather buy Jordans to stay out of paying your bills. This man don't care nothing about you guys. When the last time he spoke out? When the last time he ever gave anything to anyone? Only in Chicago and this always have to benefit basketball. I'm talking about people need education. People need everything. Is it the reason why they don't do nothing for Americans because they want us to bow down to them? You should be trying to help African American people who really need help and want help just to help them so they can get on the level you're at. Where are you at? Come on now. That's how most of these Asians, Haitians, Jamaicans have prospered. They prosper because they help one another. When one get up, they don't act like a crab in a bucket. They go and get the other person, get that person up, the other person help, that other person, that other person help, that other person. It goes on and goes on and so on and so on. Yeah, because you know I'm, where I'm going at with this one. The big old O. Oh, everybody love Oprah Winfrey. Oprah Winfrey. Guess what, Oprah Winfrey? Because the African people over there appreciate you and they'll bow down to you. That's why you stayed over Africa, Africa and helped them. But guess what? We need help over here as well. And we do appreciate, and we'll show our appreciation by getting our education and by helping others. Come on now. Y'all don't hear me though. We need people who have made it highly up there to come down to our lever and help us. We're not asking for a handout. We're asking for a hand lift. We're asking for someone to lift us up so we can go down to the bottom and get our people and lift us, um, lift them up. All the rich African American people, why is it that we don't have an IBM? We should have an IBM. We should have an apple. Why is it that most celebrities, I'm going on another celebrity, and people are like, yeah, that's good, he did it. No, 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 no. Have you ever noticed that these white people, when they build and work their butt off and make a company, they don't sell their companies at all. Bill Gates, building from the bottom on up. Do you think Bill Gates um, um, sold his company? No! Dr. Dre, Mr. Johnson, I don't get it. If you build a company up, keep it. Don't look at the money. Of course, these Caucasians going to pay you a lot of money. They're going to pay you a lot of money for the product that you work hard on. Johnson, go and sell BET. The first thing they got rid of is the news and start showing ratchet stuff on BET. They got rid of the news because they don't think we're capable of understanding information and gaining knowledge. You don't hear me. Do you hear me? I want you to hear me good. The reason why they got rid of the news because they don't think we're good enough to gain knowledge or understand. 
But Mr. Johnson worked his butt off and nobody didn't want to have nothing to do with it. Not even MTV didn't want to have nothing to do with um, BET. And he had to form that on his own. He got it up and then had the audacity to sell it. So he can buy part of, was it North Carolina? Clippers? Basketball team? Am I staying correct? Are you serious? But we don't have an IBM. All these rich celebrities. You know what we can accomplish? That's what they used to do and our ancestors used to do. Work hard, get stuff together. Oh. Man, oh 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 man. Come on. Then you take it over there to Africa. That, that, that's our people. But come on, people. Sweep in front of your door. I would love, Ophi, I'm glad you went over there. But at the end of the day, why are you not over here as well? No, we're not going to kiss your butt. No, we're not going to bow down. But we do appreciate it. We do. We really, 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 truly do. If you come and help us over here so we can help others. Come on. Wake up. Help up. Come. Wake up. Help one another. Help one another, people. We need to wake up and help one another. Gain knowledge. We need to help one another to gain knowledge. So from that knowledge, we start buying things. We start supporting each other. Then you could go and buy the Jordans. Jordan, you help somebody. Somebody help you buy your Jordans. But then... Yeah, I guess I can expect you to leave an African-American, beautiful African-American woman and go and get a Caucasian. So typical. So typical. Man, I'm just like, come on, people. We can do better than this. We can go farther. We have to. Because these Caucasians out here who have this white supremacist attitude are not going to allow us to get anything, are not going to allow us to apply for loans, are not going to allow us to do better in life. We have to work together. We, everything that any African American have received, they work hard for it. Nobody ain't never gave us nothing. Never. Down to our ancestors. We work our butt off. So when they sit up there and say, we're not going to give you reparations. We're not going to do that. Why? The Constitution says we're supposed to get 40 acres and a mule. You keep the mule. Give me my 40 acres. We're the only people in America that they talk about in the Constitution. Why? Because we were slaves. The only race that ever bowed down to slavery. <laughs> That's a different topic too. Only race. They have tried to put the Irish in slavery, the Asians in slavery, the whites in slavery, and they couldn't succeed. But when they got us, we were scrawled back. We did what we had to do. And we stay sla- in slaves in slavery for years. And some of us are still enslaved. Are still are slaves. And we're still in slavery. In our mind. I say it all the time. Get out of that abyss. Come to the light because God knows it's beautiful. Because you know when you are out somewhere and you see when they're having a white privileges, when you see, oh, got to tell this story. Got to tell the story before I go. I have to. 
This young white male is 15 years old. And his mother was buying, and this is a true story, in Columbia, Missouri. Missouri. Huh, my tongue is tying. In Columbia, Missouri, this um, young man, 15 years old, he's mixed. His mother is white, Caucasian. Gave him um, $2,500 to go and buy a truck for his birthday. So, I'm trying to make the story short. Him and his friend went and bought that that truck for his birthday. And it's coming around what I just mentioned a few minutes ago. And when he got the truck, he was at McDonald's and some guys challenged him to drag race. He's 15 years old now for his birthday. And they started drag racing. Well, he... Something happened and he totaled the truck. Cop came along, gave him, gave him tickets, right? So the mother, as being a Caucasian woman, do you know this young man have no local tickets? Because she knew law enforcement officers. Because she knew law enforcement's officers. He have no local tickets. You see what I'm saying, people? My people. This is white privilege. Because if that was, even though he's African, he's African American because he has that little drop of blood. His mother is Caucasian. If his mother was African American, he would have had local tickets, state tickets, and he would have been in trouble. He would have been in juvenile. Oh no, he didn't even go to juvenile. Didn't even get nothing on his record. He had nothing on his record. This is what I'm saying, white privileges. This is something that we need as a society of African Americans. To wake up, work together, come together, and do things together so we can accomplish a lot. So we can accomplish our goals and achieve our goals. We need to start having dreams. We need to try, even Obama tried, he did put that in effect. That... uh, we get our education. They didn't want us to get financial aid like what we are getting. Take advantage of it, people, because Obama is almost out of here. We need this love from one another. We need to show it. So, Dr. Dre, Oprah Winfrey, Jordan, Mr. Johnson, all you guys have that money why don't you try to help us as African American get up so we can help other African Americans get up? Because that's what Caucasians did in the old days. They helped one another. Our ancestors did that as well. They helped one another. It's not it wasn't about how we want things or how we expect things or how we want Somebody bow down. It was about our brothers and sisters. It was about our brothers and sisters helping one another. Love to go back there. Not slavery, but go back helping each other. So, people, I want to say I had a lovely day. And I am going to help someone today. This is a local artist that I received his um, music. It, his name is T Lo Kingpin. Yes, it's time for me to go. Get out of here. You have a great day. Bless you. Go!
Sometimes I don't have a reason to pick these stars And it's reading and perceiving me, leading me with these bars She deceiving me, she leaking, she geeking, she breaking laws She can lead to me, my weakest, she speak to me, I'm a star Welcome to a world